Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is something a little different than what I normally do. So um, if you follow me on Instagram or on anywhere else, you would probably know that I've been on like a weight loss journey. And for the past, uh, I would say like eight, seven-ish, eight-ish months, I've been actually doing a diet which I don't know if you could tell the difference in my previous videos or to this one, but I've actually lost 52 pounds. Yes, 52 pounds in seven months, I would say seven and a half months. And I'm just gonna tell you guys all about what I've been doing and what it's been consisting of. So to first start off, I wanna give a little background information on like my weight and stuff. So growing up, I've always been, I wouldn't say fat, it's like a negative word. I would say like chubby, okay? I've always been chubby. Like growing up, I liked macaroni, I liked bread, I liked anything that was like fatty and carby and all that. So, I mean, I was, I wouldn't say like, like really big, but I was like chubby, whatever. You know, every kid is chubby, it's baby fat. We all think we're gonna lose it, you know? So from then, I would say after high school is when I started gaining a lot of weight. Um, I probably, after high school, I gained like, oh yeah, I would say like 50, like 50 pounds. Uh, you know, you start working after high school, you have your own money to spend, you can buy junk food all you want, your parents aren't really like, watching what you eat. So that's basically what happened. I cannot stress this enough on how good Taco Bell is, okay? And then they just ruined it all by adding the nacho fries. Okay, that and a bean burrito, we're done. That's how I, basically how I gained the 50 pounds. So, I mean, my weight hasn't really been like a big factor in my life, like I, I always thought I was like good looking, even if I was like thick or whatever. I never really, eh, I never really cared until like this past summer. And I was like, ew, like I literally feel disgusting. Like bad to say about yourself, but I was like, I literally feel disgusting. <laughs> and then I was like, I literally, like I cannot, like I can't, I can't stay like this. So I went home and I was, like watching videos and I had heard about the keto diet and I had heard it from these makeup artists that I follow on YouTube and um, Instagram. It was makeup by Shayla and then Katie. Um, well, she used to be Luster Lux, but Katie. And uh, they were doing the keto diet and then they had said they had lost, I think Shayla said she had lost like 20 pounds in like two months, three months, something like that. And then I was like, wow, I like, my biggest wish is to lose like 20 pounds, like please, like just 20 pounds and I'd be fine. So then I was like, you know what? Like what's the use? Like let me just try this out. Like if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So that day I said, I was like, I'm gonna start tomorrow. I'm gonna go shopping for food and I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna, just go at it like cold turkey I did not like transition slowly I was like I'm going full force into this so from then I had told my family about it and my dad was like oh I want to lose like a little weight too so then he decided to do it with me so we both went shopping we went to Costco we got all the goods yeah the next day we just started and <laughs> we're seven months in and I don't plan on stopping um, I basically, I'm pretty strict on my keto, on my keto diet. I don't really like to do any processed foods or any um, like prepackaged foods. I like to either it be whole foods or um, you know something natural that I know is good for me. So that's like a misconception with keto. So if you don't know, keto is a high fat, low carb diet. So basically, you limit yourself to 20 grams of fat. Um, every day and I know it's crazy for some people like I literally used to eat like probably over like 200 something maybe 300 grams of carbs a day like that's just what like a normal person would eat 
you know, everything has carbs. When you start tracking and everything, you don't realize, oh my God, this has this many carbs or this has this many carbs. So once you start tracking and you're like, oh, this has 30 grams of carbs or this has 60 grams of carbs. And um, it basically just opens your eyes to what's nutritious, like what you really need and then what you, you really don't need. And um, so it's high fat, low carb, and no sugar. So you completely cut out sugar, which is what I did. And um, yeah, it's pretty hard to transition to, but uh, the first thing I always tell people about it is you have to be in the right mindset to do so. So if I wasn't in the mindset of like, I'm gonna stick to this, I want, I want to do this, like this is it, it's the final straw, like this is what, I want to do I want to lose this weight and I want to lose it this way then it just won't work because then you'll just fall back into your old ways after a week you'll say oh I'm tired of eating these kind of foods oh I don't want to eat this today I don't feel like eating that I just want my junk food you know my comfort food which is a pretty um, a pretty ha uh, big habit that you get into and you just have to you have to break it you have to break that mindset of eating your regular foods that are doing nothing for you, nothing for your body. So after that, um, I would say the first week I, I remember, I think I lost eight pounds in the first week. I started at uh, 196. So I lost eight pounds the first week and I was like, <laughs> like shocked. I was like eight friggin' pounds in one week. Like if I keep doing this, by this time this year, I'll be like my goal weight. And um, so that's really what kept me motivated. Uh, I just didn't, I didn't wanna go back to how I used to look basically. So once you start seeing the progress, it gets really easy to stick to it because if you just stop, you'll undo all your hard work. And I mean, I did not, I'm not gonna do all this work, spend all this money on these healthy foods for for nothing, just to go back to eating my Taco Bell every day. I literally, like when I'm telling you Taco Bell, I had like, I would go maybe two or three times a day. I'm not kidding you. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, it was that good. Like it was that kind of summer, okay? I would eat three meals a day just because I didn't want to get hungry. I, I knew if I got hungry, I would binge. And I mean, I've had a history with binging. Like also, Keto teaches you how to not eat because you're bored. So I really learned if I'm hungry or am I just bored. If I'm bored now, I'll just drink some water. Like I won't, I won't eat like a, a whole meal, you know? Like how, if I was bored, like pre, like summertime, I would go out and get something to eat. I would probably eat out majority of the time. I don't think I ever ate at home. It was always eating out. So for breakfast, I would have like two eggs, um, like two pieces of turkey bacon, um, a coffee with heavy cream, and with some stevia, like a little bit of stevia. I'm not really a big fan of stevia, but I mean, I, I'm so used to like the sugar. I needed something to combat that craving. Um, so for breakfast, that's what I would, oh, and a, a whole avocado, that's what I would eat for, for breakfast. And then lunch, I would probably, um, I, I would have like a snackish lunch. So like I would have like smoked salmon with cream cheese or um, you know, something like that. And for dinner, I actually, thankfully, kinda, now I kinda think that I work here, but I work at Chipotle. So basically anything there is keto, you could eat anything besides like the rice, the beans, and the corn, and everything else is keto. So I would get free food and make myself a filling bowl, a salad, whatever. And that's just how I've just been doing it. Now I don't really get that hungry. Usually in the morning I'll have a, an iced coffee and, and then I'll just eat dinner. I stop eating around, uh, I'd say like 7 p.m., 6 or whenever I just have my last meal. Now that I'm fat adapted, that I'm like in ketosis like fully, because I've been in it for like seven months, um, I introduced like natural sweeteners 
at first I didn't want to include any of that because I didn't I didn't want to stall so now that I'm pretty I'm pretty fat adapted so it doesn't really bother me that much but there's like uh, artificial sweeteners not artificial like natural sweeteners you know like erythritol is something you could do as a sugar substitute or stevia something like that something healthy you don't want to do any um, any of that nasty stuff like maltodextrin like that's just gross bad for you bad for your body um, so okay so now I'll have like an iced coffee so I'll do uh, like an iced Americano with a little bit of heavy cream and some sugar-free vanilla so that's like my breakfast like you know like a venti and that that pretty much keeps me full until I'll say like 3 30 4 ish 4 o'clock and then I'll, I'll just have dinner like I won't have lunch anymore mostly because I don't have time to make lunch and second of all um, I just don't I don't get hungry really that much so um, for lunch or lunch dinner winner right we'll call it liner so for liner <laughs> I'll either have chipotle or I'll have um, a salad so I've really got my salad game down and when you're keto salads are pretty filling because you can use a full fat dressing and you can have cheese and you can have um, protein in it and it just like a big giant salad and then I'm good to go and you get your veggies in for that it's really important to get your veggies in when you're doing keto too because a lot of people just think it's like I can eat bacon all day. I can eat cheese all day. I could get a burger all day. Like, no, you need your veggies. You need your nutrients. You need all that good stuff in your body. And um, so I really stress that, like, you need your vegetables. Yes, vegetables have carbs, but I don't really count them as, like, carb carbs because they're, um, they're dietary fiber in them. And then that just, you know, comes right out of you. You know, fiber, you minus the fiber. And that's also you count net carbs when you're on keto. Some people do whole carbs. I don't, I personally don't do that. So I do net carbs. So that's basically you subtract any sugar alcohols or any um, fiber in the foods. So that equals your total carbs. And in, in the beginning, I would track like religiously. Like I, cause I mean, I didn't know what macros were. I didn't know what was in, what how many carbs were in this? How many calories were in this? How many fat grams were in this? So I would just, um, I got this app, it's called the Keto the keto app. And it's basically like it's a tracker for your food. So you put in um, what kind of food it is, like how, how much. I would also weigh my food. So, but I found that kind of made it into a diet, me weighing my food. Um, so I stopped that around like after the first month because it just wasn't, I'm not gonna sit there and weigh all my food, like no. Um, so it kind of tracks everything for you and it gets all your macros in and um, basically it really helps you stay on track so when you learn what how many macros are in like how your food you learn how many calories are in this you can kind of guesstimate after like after you learn everything you could say oh, okay this bowl of lettuce probably has like like three grams of carbs, but it also has like two grams of fiber. So it just, it'll come out to one net carb. Um, but like I said, I don't really count vegetables as carbs because they're just veggies. They're good for you. You should have a lot of them. Um, mainly I'll count like something like a dressing. Like if it has, is it, if it has like a lot of carbs or if it has, um, or if like cheese, like I'll count cheese too. Uh, Cause you don't want to go overboard. I found that keto is actually like a really sustainable diet for myself because I can have like um, dairy, I can have meat, I can have veggies with it, I can play around with it, I can have full fat stuff. So that just makes you full all day and it doesn't make you hungry and it doesn't make you like crave those foods. The hardest part I would say is the sugar, is the sugar withdrawals because sugar is like a drug, okay? It's so bad for you, but it's so good, right? So I learned um, substitutes. I started cooking more. I started baking more. So I can make like keto treats, which are basically you use sugar substitutes instead of sugar. And then you can use like almond flour instead of regular flour. And you could barely taste the difference. So um, my advice to like anybody that wants to start is you really, 
really have to be in the right mindset. You have to be ready for it. You have to say to yourself, I'm gonna stick to this. I'm gonna continue doing this for as long as I can. Um, do I plan on staying? Do I plan on staying keto forever? Um, probably not, because it's just not realistic. Um, I would probably live a low carb diet, like a low carb lifestyle. That's pretty sustainable, like um, under 70 grams of carbs or under 50 grams of carbs. But for right now, for my weight loss journey, I want to stick to it. Um, so right now I'm at 144 from 196. And my goal weight was originally 135. So basically it's like um, 10 more pounds. But I feel like once I reach that, I'm like, I want to keep going. I think I was at, at 180 and I was like, I really want to hit 145 as like my next short term goal. And I hit it this past past two weeks. And um, yeah, I decided to reward myself with some fried chicken and some Taco Bell. You know, like I had. I had to do the Taco Bell. I had to. So yeah. And now here I am, 52 pounds later, down the drain, out of here. Get out of here, 50 pounds. So I feel good about that. Um, my confidence has definitely went up. I feel like, I feel better like taking pictures and stuff. Just like overall, I feel lighter. You know, I can like, I can breathe. You know, before I felt like I was really, like down like I couldn't I couldn't breathe anymore you know that's how that that day that I had that epiphany of like let me try to do something like I can breathe now and it just it feels really good to to almost be there to almost be at your goal weight and I haven't been this weight I don't I've never like I haven't been this weight not even in high school I was not this weight in high school let me tell you that I was probably about 15 pounds heavier than this in high school. Um, and it just feels it feels good to do something for yourself, to take care of yourself. So I'm really happy right now. So that's good on that. And I'm still enjoying my life. I still go out and eat. Like there's nothing really that restrictive that I can't eat except for like breads and pastas. Everything else is good. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid if you wanna start something, you know? I always say like, now's the time to start. You can keep saying you wanna start, you wanna start, you wanna start, but will you really start? And then um, when, like think of yourself like a few months from now, do you wanna still be at the same place you are or do you wanna be better? Do you wanna like improve yourself? So that's how I feel on that. Um, I also started a keto Instagram page. It's called Gigi Loves Keto. And I follow all these people that are also doing keto. I get recipes from them. I get tips from them, all that. There's memes on there, them keto memes. Um, <laughs> so it's like a community that you can really, you can really join in if you have questions, like everybody's cool to answer them for you. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I really appreciate it. So let me know in the comments if you wanna see like what I eat in a day or how do I count my macros or all that jazz or how I eat out on keto, that would be cool too. So let me know what you'd like to see and I'll definitely get back to you. Uh, as always, my Instagram and all that jazz will be in the description bar below. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.